Today we're demonstrating this stainless steel side shift drum lifter. The side shift arrangement allows the lifter body in the centre to move left and right. We do this by releasing the toggle clamp in the centre and then moving the lifter manually side to side. When we're set in the right position, we lock the toggle clamp in place and then the lifter is fixed. This arrangement allows us to position drums anywhere on a pallet. We'll now unload these drums as an example. So we line up the legs to pass down each side. And you can see our lifter's in the middle, but we need to line it up with the drum. So unhook it, slide it across, and lock it in place. To connect our gripper, I'm going to lower the gripper down onto the drum. So this is the lowering handle, and then we pump to lift the drum up. The handle that I'm using, this is the pump handle and the tiller handle. So we can use it to pump and lift the drum up and also to help us in manoeuvring. We lower it down. We want to lower it just enough that the weight comes off the gripper. Once the weight's off, so with one finger, lift the top hook clear and pull the unit away. So lining our leg up with the sides of a pallet. See we need a gap, if we've got multiple pallets stored against the wall, we need a gap for the leg to pass down because this is a straddle model, so the legs need to straddle the pallet. Moving our lifter body over. So it's on the centre line of the drum. We then need to lift the gripper up because previously we just lowered down to the floor. I'm going to bring it forward and lower down on top of the drum. Just move it slightly to the left. We'll place it down alongside this drum here. So a minute, these are steel drums. So we've got our foot plate folded down. We'll show you this in detail later, but it's just at the bottom here. If I raise it up slightly, you'll be able to see. So the drum grip at the top and the foot plate. This keeps steel drums nice and straight, but when we're handling plastics, we fold it into the up position. Once again, just lining our wheels up, bringing the unit in. Now this is another unique part of this model. If it's a square 1200 by 1200 pallet, at this position, the, the actual whole lifter body straddles over the top of a pallet. So you can see under this cross beam, we've got the pallet itself. And this means that from one side of the pallet, we can take the front drums and then both drums at the back as well. And this is a great way when you're trying to optimise storage space, one model unloading four drums all, all from the same approaching side. So again, I'm just bringing our gripper up and aligning it with the top of the drum. We'll place it here next to the green drum. Release our gripper. 
move the unit away. We'll now adjust our gripper because we're going to be handling this Mauser drum, so we'll show you that in more detail. At the front of the unit, where our catch is situated, we can adjust this to handle different drum types. The first adjustment is for height. So to adjust the height, we need to lower or raise the catch. And we do this by holding the base of the catch with one hand and then removing our securing pin, which is located here. We then unhook the gripper by tilting it backwards and you see that it becomes completely free within this channel. We can raise or lower the catch depending on the height of drum we need to lift and then hook it back into position. You can see here our gripper is much lower and it's going to suit, in this position, shorter drums. Because we're going to be handling a tall drum, we're going to move it back into a high position. So we lift it up and socket it in place. Once it's in position and we're happy with the height, we refit our securing pin. This prevents us from taking the catch off. The other adjustment we have is for the different lips or different uh, designs of the top edge of a drum. This grip was designed to accommodate a wide range of drums, but the operator does need to make a small adjustment. They do this by moving this top hook, so we call this a top hook, and this the bottom hook. The top hook gets moved further forward for drums with larger lids. To do this, we hold the top hook with one hand, and we remove the second pin, which secures this in place. So the top hook and the pin. We have a series of positions for this top hook, and in the instruction manual, there'll be detailed photos on the exact locations and the different options available. I'm going to set it for the drum behind me, so I'm going to put it in the hole which is furthest forward. We've got four holes, and we're in the, the one closest to the front. What you'll notice is the distance between the bottom hook and the top hook has widened. We're now further forward. The other function while we're looking here is this kick plate, which I mentioned before. We're in the folded up position, and this is correct for handling plastic drums. If we fold it down, that would be for handling steel or metal drums. I'm going to keep it folded up for this next drum. So we'll manoeuvre the unit towards the pallet once again. Line the legs up with the left and right sides of the pallet and bring the unit to pass over the top of a pallet, the pallet's going under our machine. Bring our lifter over. Lower our gripper down into position. It's always good to visually, I'm looking at the bottom hook, looking at the top hook, making sure they're in the correct position on the drum. All these drums are full of water, so they weigh about 200 kilo each. And then we lower it down to the ground. Again, just enough weight comes off the hook, and then we lift it off and move our unit clear. This is a stainless steel model. We also offer an electric lift model, so if you're handling lots and lots of drums, then we can have the electric lift instead of the manual hydraulic system. We also offer a weighing system, so if you need to weigh your drums when they come into the department, we can weigh it and uh, we can incorporate it into the lifter as well. 